We're here at TNT Precision in the Republic of Ireland in Cork to find out about the Grupo Parpas Diamond Linear 30 supplied by Leader TNC. It's an absolute monster of a machine. These Grupo Parpas machines built in Italy are known for their high technology. Now, these are generally targeted at kind of aerospace and automotive, so we're talking uh, aluminium prismatic parts and also mold and die tools for, for punching uh, automotive doors. So the problem with those is there's, there's very different, material, different, different kinds of materials. So you're talking aluminium, you need high revolutions per minute, uh, not necessarily high torques, whereas with mold and die, you probably need a high torque to, to, to cut through that steel. Right now, TNT are, are cutting an aluminium part. This is a prismatic part, and they've got loads of pockets. The part goes in, or the billet goes in, at 400 kilos and comes out at just under 40. Now, that is a lot of material to take out, um, which obviously, first of all, you need a lot of swarf, swarf bins. So, a lot of swarf bins. They've got two swarf carriers, one at the front, one at the back, that takes the swarf out, which on some of their previous machines of this size, you had to take the swarf out manually, which obviously, it's no good if you're taking out uh, 360 kilograms of swarf and these are they're doing because the machine is so big it has a 3 meter by 2.6 meter uh, machining envelope they could they're doing op 10 or op, op 10 uh, on the front here then op 20 they flip it over raise it up so they can access uh, the sides on the back side so they've been doing two ops in one cycle and they brought the cycle times from their older machines from 66 hours down to 33 which is a 50 percent reduction in cycle time and the reason they can do uh, up 10 and up 20 and then hit the size is because the machine is actually five axis. So you have a B axis and a C axis on the spindle, meaning you can access uh, pockets, holes, features, anything around the periphery of the part as well. So this is perfect for one hit machining on a part that is, is I don't know, it's about a meter and a half long. It's absolutely huge. Unfortunately, we can't show the part because it's a very sensitive aerospace car, uh, part, it's critical. Um, but Believe me, it's a very interesting part, and they're cutting out loads of pockets. There's loads of weight seven pockets. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to behold. And the spindle, um, that they, they spec is 20,000 RPM. It can go up to 40,000 with a 37 kilowatt power. Now, that is what allows you to cut the more steel parts, titanium parts. And Victor told me that they've got this contract, this aluminium part that they're doing for the next couple of years. Those contracts obviously run out, and if it doesn't get renewed, he's not worried because he knows this machine can... Uh, cut any part that's thrown at it, whether it's titanium, whether it's steel, or another aluminium part just like this, he knows this part, this machine can handle it. In fact, he said, when talking about the machine spindle, he said this machine cuts through aluminium like a hot knife through butter, which is obviously, I mean, you can't get better than that. Um, obviously, though, with a 33-hour cycle time, you need thermal compensation to deal with, or, or thermal stabilization to deal with the heat build up in the spindle, uh, maybe not the axes because the axes are out here so they're not necessarily affected by the, by the heat generated by the cut, but thermal stabilization so the spindle is cooled, meaning over 33 hours it's not going to grow slowly and take you out of tolerance. In fact, the accuracy of the mach this machine is incredible. Uh, Victor told me that the machine for a 3 meter by 2.6 meter envelope, the volumetric accuracy of the machine was, was under about 12 microns, which is amazing if you imagine how big this machine is and how it's going to go from one corner to the other with that kind of repeatability which is absolutely fantastic talking about control and accuracy now the hide and hide control on this machine uh, matt the op uh, sorry uh, chris the operator told me it's really easy to use and he feels really powerful when when he's using the hide and hide probably because it's just quite a high level control it's a little bit easier than the fanatic to use i think personally um, so the hide and hide control is really good also for the five axis simultaneous work. It means you can, you can make sure that you do an accurate five axis toolpath. Hide and hide are well known for, for good five axis simultaneous control. There are also many options on the machine. Rather than having a fixed bed, you can have a rotary table um, for doing turning. So if you've got, rather than a prismatic part, if you've got a turned aerospace part, which turbine rings or maybe the cold end of the, the engine is a big round aluminum part, you could turn it rather than mill it out and get that turn and finish that you need. So there's lots of options for this machine. But when Victor bought the machine, I said to him, what options have you chosen? And he said, well, actually, whatever comes to sound of this machine, that is all I need. So. The standards of this machine, you're not going to get hit by any, any, extra, any extra options that you need. The standards are absolutely bang on for doing even aerospace parts. What could be better than that? It's the Grupo Parpas Diamond Linear 30, supplied by Leader Cincy in the UK. Get in touch to find out more.